Hello, and thank you for tuning in to the Psalm 119 Devotionals. My name is Carrie Irizarry. I'm the author of The Word Study, and I'm just developing these devotionals to encourage you along the way, to give any help that you might need. So I hope that you tune in and that the, the Word Study will be good for you because it's getting into His Word, it's learning about His Word, and that's the whole basis of Psalm 119. His, it's 176 verses, so it's, it's lengthy, but the whole psalm is just about his word, how important it is, how powerful it is, how we need his word as his children. Because there's no other way to learn about God except through his word. He's, that's what he has given us um, as we live this life. He's given us his word. And his, his word has the power to change, the power to convict, the power to help us. And so he wants us as his children to be in his word. And maybe you've never done a word study before. Maybe this is brand new. But my prayer for you is that you'll just stay with it. Because you'll see that this is a way of learning about his word that is very beneficial to your growth, to your relationship with God. Because the number one thing that God wants us, wants from us as his children is to just to get to know him. And the only way we can do that is through his word. And even though, you know, there's many ways to study the Bible, and they're all beneficial if they're done correctly. And so this is just another way to study the Bible is a word study. And so I've condensed it down to just Psalm 119, and there's a lot in there. So as you go through it and as you and wrap it up, finish it, finishing it, you'll realize um, just how important and powerful His Word really is. So we see in the introduction that His Word, in the first nine verses of the psalm, they are described in eight different ways. So in verse 1, you have his law. And in verse 2, you have his testimonies. And in verse 3, you have his ways. In verse 4, you have his precepts. In verse 5 and 8, you have his statutes. And in verse 9, you have his commandments. In verse 7, you have his judgments. And in verse 9, you have his word. And so... We look at each of these words individually. We look at the meaning of them, why they're important. And then there's an explanation of the verse itself, asking some simple questions. And then when you get to the application part, you'll see an, another two or three questions about how you can apply the verse personally. Okay, And then after that, you see that there's 25 more times, for instance, that the word law is in just the psalm itself. So it's encouraged to read through the psalm for each of these words and to write down the verse that these words are found. And the reason it's important to, to read through the psalm instead of skimming or using a help like a concordance is because every time you read the psalm, you're going to remember a little bit more Something's going to grab your attention. And so it's just a way for you to get in his word, to get your mind thinking about it. And every time you read it, it's going to become more familiar. And that's what we want with God's word. We want to become familiar with it. Because when we become familiar with it, then it's easier to study, easier to meditate, and obviously easier to memorize. So that's for your benefit that you, as you study out these nine verses in the introduction that you will read through the psalm each time for your benefit and for your growth. So after that is done, you would move on to the next section, which will start our devotional series on the 22 words that tell us what am I supposed to do with God's word. So as you move through this study, just take your time. Um, you know, do it with a do it with a friend, do it with a brother or sister in Christ, because um, it's always good to study the word together. But as you're in His Word, you will learn, you will grow, because that's what God has promised to us. And so I'm just praying for you as you go through this study, and that God will just open His Word for you, 
and just follow along as we delve into the 22 words that we are supposed to do with his word. So until next time, God bless.